Pentax has taken a long time to deliver a full-frame DSLR, but with Canon and Nikon's lack of updates to their sub-$2,000 competitors, the timing seems right for its debut. I'm Lori Grunin. While the Pentax K1 isn't the prettiest camera, and it's on the heavy side, for the most part, the dust and weather sealed body has an excellent shooting design, and it's packed with features for prosumer and working photographers. The camera has some useful design novelties. The function dial with its dedicated settings dial provides direct access to nine frequently used settings. And if, like me, you're constantly changing one setting, in my case, ISO sensitivity, it's the fastest way to do it. The variable angle display is also very nice. It's really handy to be able to tilt it left and right. And Pentax puts quick access to display brightness on one of the navigation buttons. Though the camera tests competitively fast, I experienced some problems with the autofocus locking, and its shake reduction just doesn't seem to be as effective as other systems. But as long as you change the defaults, the photo quality is excellent, with accurate color rendering and broad dynamic range, with lots of latitude in the shadows and it also has the ability to hold color saturation as ISO sensitivity rises. The devil's in the details though. For those, you'll have to read my full review. <laughs>